Hello everyone and welcome back to Linguai, the channel dedicated to languages. Today we're going to be looking at something very important that has to do with the language we are speaking and listening to right now, and a language that I would like everyone to learn. And we ask ourselves the question, English? What is it? Some people say it's Germanic. Most people, in fact, say that English is Germanic. However, is it Latin-based since over 60% of the words come there? And if you're in a mathematics or scientific community, over 90% of the words come from Latin? That is the question we're going to ask today. And first, we're going to look at the history of English in order to answer that question. So, let's take a look at the British Isles, where the language of English really originated. At first, these isles were inhabited by the Celts, who spoke the Celtic tongue. Now, this is far different from any language we have today. Some Romans came in their ships with their little wreaths, and they came and settled the British Isles, and they spread Latin. However, obviously we don't speak Latin today, and that's because it only was popular in the higher class. The lower class didn't speak it. They kept speaking other languages. And how do we know all this stuff? We see it on gravestones in Britain, and we see it in books as well. So after the Romans came and settled, and Latin was added in, added to the Celtic tongue, some more things came. And these were the Anglos and the Saxons. Both of them were from Germany. This made the language Anglo-Saxon. Now, you might think Anglo-Saxon is what Shakespeare wrote in, but Anglo-Saxon is really quite different. Here is an example of some Anglo-Saxon texts. Now, you definitely can't read that. But you can still see that the letters are fairly close to the letters we have in English if you squint a little bit. Now, what is surprising is that Anglo-Saxon is based in German, and English is based in Anglo-Saxon. However, Anglo-Saxon was not a fully developed language. That means they didn't have all the vocabulary that we use today, only some of the basic vocab. More vocab came when the French started coming up to British Isles, or rather the language French. Now, French is a Latin-based language, so, most of the French words come from Latin anyway, so that was like another helping of Latin. So once we got all these languages piled up together, a little bit of Celtic, Latin, a lot of Anglo-Saxon, and French, what happened is it made English. So to go back to that question we had at the very beginning, English, what is it? Well, most of the grammar in English is Germanic. If you think about it, when they were using the Anglo-Saxon language, although it was not as fully developed as English, they still needed most of the grammar. They needed the subjects like I, you. They needed some of the verbs. And that's why most words that are shorter under three syllables are usually Germanic in origin rather than Romantic. However, over 60% of your vocab in English is going to be Latin because most of the vocab will be more than two syllables. If you look at the most often used words in English, Latin isn't going to come in until about number 50. All the ones before that are going to be Germanic. That's your subjects, your very common verbs, your adverbs, your question words. Those are all Germanic because they needed those in Anglo-Saxon, but they didn't need the more specific words. Those got involved over time using French and Latin. So in the end, it is pretty easy to learn Latin because many of the words that we use in English today are very closely related to Latin. In fact, if you learn Latin, you might even do better on standardized testing like the SAT or the ACT because a lot of the vocab on those tests are based in Latin because they're longer words. So in the end, we can see that though the grammar is Germanic and a few words are Germanic, 60% or more is Latin based and that's why it's easy and important to learn Latin not only to improve Latin but to improve your English soon we're gonna look at some examples from the latest unit in Latin Illustrated which is a series on my channel that I would encourage you to check out if you want to learn more about this stuff now as I always say on this channel decor outro sprache es orvir o porta if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and share if you haven't already seen Latin Illustrated Unit 1, go check that out. Gracias.